Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and we are back. So a lot of videos from the NA finals. Um, I like doing competitive and it's like the only thing going on right now. So I wanted to get all the final games. So like I said, at the end of the video, uh, if you guys watch the games against Omen, it actually ended in a three-way tie between Omen, us, and Circles. So we have to play both teams in the best of three on triple dribble. Um, so it was like, we were really happy because we thought we lost. But we get a chance at redemption. Now the things are, so the first game I played was second and crying. And the second we played with Bobby and second and his Wi-Fi cut out. So we have to play the same. So we played against, um, like I just said, against Omen. We played, I played with Bobby and second and Bobby's Wi-Fi cut out. So we had to play against Omen with Bobby again and his bad Wi-Fi on uh, triple. <laughs> so the first game is against circles and we're gonna cover that right now okay guys um so you can see we have pretty different comps the only similarities jackie uh we went with mr p and at this point I was, I was woken up i was like very motivated to win this um and the bands are by the way so we banned sprout they banned i want to say max no it might no it was max it was max i think um, so me and Crying are going to pinch Tuni there and just take him out. So I'm getting pretty close to my Porter, so I'm looking to be kind of greedy and get it here. I got to be careful. Slash can almost score here, um, but he does. He should have tried pulling me there, I think. Um, so I'll place my Porter away from the Barley, and Tuni almost scores here. Second's going to get a good gadget. So he times it properly, and um, that's going to give us a chance to recover. So we do have the Porter out, and we do have our Supers. And Tooney is running very low on gadgets. I think that's the second one that he's used. And Jackie is a lot worse without her gadget. So I'm going to pass the ball up to Crying here and look to get my Porter a little more aggro just so the Penguins get upfield faster. And it just, it bothers the Gene more, right? So you can guys, you guys can see I'm using Tin Can as well. Um, that's because there's just so many walls to bounce off of on this map. So it almost makes sense to use Tin Can. Um, usually you just want to use it on defense um, for Siege. But here it makes sense. Um, and I will get some pretty good shots off. And Slash is going to panic and auto-aim my penguin and break their walls. <laughs> so <laughs> we will get the first goal. Um, so I do have a Porter on hand. And I can't deal with the Jackie by myself. She just runs me down. So Crying is going to get kind of greedy and go for... I don't know what he was trying to go for there. But um, Toonie is just going to be out of reach. Second's going to try slowing him. But uh, Crying... Definitely should not have gone in there. And he just kind of, because he has to mark up on Jackie or like second has to pinch over. And second was on his side. So Crying kind of threw there um, by being like too greedy. But we're doing okay, I guess. <laughs> it's 1 1 and we all want to win this so bad. We're like very mad that we lost to Omen right now. I'm still mad about it. <laughs> I'll take out Luki and uh, Crying's going to get a good pull. Tooney is going to pull me as well, but we'll get the ball up to second and. Second's going to take out Toonie here as well. So over time, we definitely... Mm, I mean, Barley is notoriously like worse in overtime because he revolves around walls. But that's kind of what I was going for with Mr. P with uh, the shorter range star power. So I do have my Porter, though. So I think we definitely have the better overtime comp. They do have Gene, too. Though. I don't know. It's kind of even. Um, so we'll pinch over on Luki and just... I'm going to drop that, so... Flash can't take me out and that forces him to take like a bad angle shot so it was a good call dropping it there um i'm gonna look to like just work the ball around here and crying is just gonna tuck in the corner and we'll take game number one all right guys game number two so we're gonna keep the same comp they're gonna keep the same comp like i said i'm i think i played really well in all the overtime games um i'm on a support brawler but i like do everything i'm supposed to um so Tooney, I'm looking to just get my super off of. He can just run me down, but uh, Brian does pressure them, and he's going to have to come back. So Tooney's going to use another gadget there. I don't like that gadget use because um, I'm right by my spawn, and you know he's not really in a good spot. But um, second is going to get almost... Uh, Tooney's just in th within range. So I know Tooney's there. Um, I really got to block this. And second almost gets him with the gadget, um, but... He's just out of range and they will score and he almost catches it too. So it was really close. I think Toonie's almost out of gadgets already. Um, so that's something to note too. I'm not sure about Crying. I haven't been counting his as much. Uh, so Crying is going to pull them and get my aggro penguin kind of going there. Just chasing them down. 
I'm going to look to pinch Luki with second as well. We do have to play some defense here. So they are collapsing pretty good. Second's going to get some good value from Hype. Um, and just, they're going to trade, I guess. Nobody really won that. Um, I think I really just wanted us to get like out of there. So I did use two of my Penguin gadgets, I want to say. Um, and Tuni is going to take out my Porter. But I got another one ready. So I'll just drop it in that same quarter away from their Barley. And we're looking to be kind of aggro here and just we've been in our spawn the entire time crying kind of passing the ball when i'm shooting so that's why i shot it there um but i think he could have pulled them there honestly i don't know he does end up pulling them uh but by that time tuni's there to support him and we just want to wait for crying now and just kind of like hold position um so my penguins are pretty far back so if i get a porter i'll probably look to just drop it more aggro as long as like i know it's gonna stay up like i'm not gonna die me and second are gonna pinch slash there and second gets really good positioning and we almost get it really good pull from toonie there uh toonie saved them a goal there brian's gonna trade with toonie um but toonie did a really nice pull there um so i'm gonna drop it super aggro there's 15 seconds left we want to make something happen um they're spawn trapping or spawn cornering it sorry i almost get lukey um I just gotta like try chipping hopefully they can get the ball out but uh unfortunately they can't and uh you know teeny saved the game for them with that one pull so that was a that was a goal for sure for a second so they'll take game number two okay guys game number three so the winner wins the first uh tiebreaker and they switch over to nita i can honestly bully nita uh it's good against jackie i guess and it's decent against ems but tuna's gonna kind of like run at me crying's gonna do a good job covering for me though and you can see i'm getting a ton of value already and I know I don't have to like push up too much because my penguins, he's going to have to shoot them and it'll stop his regen. So I don't want to feed him bear. His bear is really good. Uh, second's going to like kind of give him a few free shots there, but that's okay. Um, and crying is going to use that Jackie <laughs> range through the wall. Gets a nice cheeky kill there as well. A lot of people forget about it. So second's going to kind of just run at them. Um, he almost, he does get the barrow and a gadget use. He does have to use one of his gadgets. Um, Crying's gonna do a really good pull there, actually. That was actually really good from Crying. I'm gonna pinch over on Toonie. And, oh, also, Crying was using the wrong star power. <laughs> the first two games, Crying was using the wrong star power on Jackie. Uh, he, you wanna use the damage reduction one, and he wasn't using that. So, second called it out, and we were just like, whoops. So, uh, that definitely helped us out this game. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Porter, and Toonie is gonna take out second here, I think. Uh, so everyone's kind of dead. They're all pretty weak though. So I want to like Definitely focus on the ones that can score first. Um, so I see Luki there and I you know I choose to hang on to a shot just in case I do need to throw it out like that. So I just I'll hold it down until everyone spawns and uh, I will pop an aggro penguin there just to get some like positioning here again, this is a really good angle for me, so I'm looking to be really aggro on Luki, and I'm hitting like all my shots on him. He's almost down. Crying is going to get a kill though, and nice pull from Crying. Second's going to sneak it through, and we'll take our game, our overtime game against Circles. So we're up 1 0 right now in overtime. Alright, guys, so this is the second match against Omen. Um, so Bobby does have to play this one, and um, you know, his Wi Fi was kind of acting up earlier, and um, we probably would have played Crying if we could have, but they wouldn't let us change. So I'm getting some really good value already. Um, second is going to do a nice little play there and take out Korai. I'll hit him like once or twice too. But uh, Zulin's going to pinch over and, you know, we're looking for once we get set up, we will have a lot of control. So I do take out, I traded with Tyrant Star. Maybe if I kept going there, I could have got a kill. I don't, or a goal. I don't know. It, like, I think Korai would have got me though. But um, I think so far I've been playing pretty decently. My Mortar is going to cover for us there and take out Korra and we do have like both our turrets set up but they are pretty far back so if I'm Bobby right now I think I like put it right where he's standing almost just so the penguins have more impact on the game um and you know he has a pretty good matchup right now so he could get it back but he's not using tin can also he's using the extra range one and I do get my mortar so I'll move it up like a little bit we almost get tyrant star there uh Bobby is gonna hit a good shot on tyrant star and just take him out so I'm trying to pinch over on Zula in here and drop his bear but i do take him out cory is going to pinch me though and just take him out um my mortar hits the bear but okay my mortar's still up for one more shot but iron's going to be there to take it out um and then we got to take out cora here he just survives with the hype star power hype is so broken 
Uh, so I do want to like pinch over and just, you know, get some pressure off us. So Bobby's going to put his quarter up too high and it'll just get taken out. Um, we want to avoid it from the barley. Um, second's going to get a good kill on Zulan there and getting some decent shots on Tyrant. So I don't want to put my mortar back here, but I need to get it out. We're getting like pinched pretty far back. Um, and M's like she just swings the game so much. So I just decided like it's best to get my mortar out that way. We don't get scored on at least like even it's not ideal positioning but it's something i can start like building up for the next one um so we wanna we do have a better overtime comp because they have barley and uh we can get pretty spammy we also outrange the nita in overtime so we just manage to hang on there uh everyone kind of like chips in for defense second gonna take out tyrant and Zulan should have a goal here. Um, I throw my turret out for defense and he shoots it off the wall. Um, and, you know, we're just kind of scrambling at this point. So we want to focus the M's. And if second, uh, like, I don't blame him for it, but uh, it just goes, it goes through all three of us. It's so unfortunate. Um, it's not second's fault, but if he did shoot Zulan there, we would have killed him. But he's all his shots on Korra. But, I mean, it's in the moment. It's all like, really hard to deal with. Um... So they will take game number one. All right, guys, game number two. Um, so we're going with the same comp. We like our comp. Barley is really good into our comp, and they chose to go with BB, who's pretty tanky. Uh, she can just run me and Bobby down, so that's what they're doing right now. And they honestly almost get a goal here. Second does a really good gadget use, though, and just saves it. Um, but the BB running us down, even though they almost scored, um, it did give us like a lot of value for our supers um, and me and second are gonna pinch tyrant there so uh, I do get my mortar out and I'm just gonna play it like really because we're going for control right so I'll play it back and just we want to slowly move up it's like we, just, we have two minutes right so I don't want it where the barley is gonna get it so you can see I already have another one and I'll like gradually move it up so I want to keep pressure on the BB and fortunately tyrant is there to just take that one out um, so he's gonna do some pretty good pretty efficient job taking out but i will use my gadget there just to kind of open it up i want to open for like me in second and bobby too for that matter um just we want to like hinder the barley i guess uh so second is gonna just like run in and be m's and just sneak it in so really good goal from second there um and another thing i did get some pretty good value but bobby just straight up dc's here um and so unfortunate so Bobby's going to DC. The best I can do is just get my super. There's no way I can defend that. Uh, and they're going to tie it 1-1. So I think he's back now. Yeah, Bobby's back now. And uh, it's frustrating. <laughs> there goes our lead. But, um, you know, we are just going to have to focus on Cory here. And we're getting pinched pretty hard. So we're getting some coin value. And watch how godly this mortar is. I don't know. They like really threw here. But like the mortar is just gonna like clutch up like get a double kill <laughs> and just uh seconds there to help it out too but the mortar like put in work there i love penny so good um i'll hit a few shots there and that's the ideal that's the perfect place for your penny turret on this map so we just really want to keep tiring off it but um you know we do come together there and i think bobby could have scored here i don't know i think he could have scored here or like at least like gotten close um, so I threw my mortar there so I could break the wall for him and he could just shoot wherever but uh, he didn't want to follow up with it and um, We are going to overtime. We definitely have the better overtime comp So I'm looking to get a mortar for overtime Seconds looking to just score though. He doesn't want to wait <laughs> uh, so they group up and we almost take them out, but um, you know, we won't unfortunately and we just gotta like chip now so my mortar is gonna get taken out we have to fall back we still have bobby's porter going and he has another one on hand so i'm just looking to trade with zulan i get a little too close though and he does get me with a hit and a bubble um but i do outrange him so they honestly they have a really bad overtime comp so we're just like looking to wear them out a little bit i'm calling over for a second to super the ball for me and i i should have just passed it back to second that's like uh that's the second time i did something like that so I will manage to get it to Bobby though, who supers it over to second. Second's there to finish it. Uh, good shot, good teamwork. Um, we could have scored though if I just passed it originally, but we'll take game number two.
All right, guys, so game number three. Um, if we win this, we do come in first for NA. Um, you can see they switched over to Penny, and I love having that 1v1 Penny matchup. So they have a Barley that can help out a little bit, but I'll take a 1v1 on Penny, like, all day. Um, so I'm going to use my shots. I do want to, like, push up here so I can, like, kind of hit some shots. Bobby's doing a good job just keeping Barley back and trying to get position just so I can, like, keep chipping him down. Uh, second and Korai... Where is getting the better of that matchup, I guess. But um, I do have to like pinch over here because Tyrant's getting in a really bad spot. Second is going to take out uh, Cora though, and or sorry, Tyrant, and they'll trade. So uh, nice recovery from second there, and I am getting pretty close to my mortar. So Bobby does uh, give Zulan his mortar, unfortunately. But I pick mine up too, so it's not the end of the world. I don't want to put my mortar on top of Bobby's. And again, I kind of, I think I have to settle with mortar placements just because I wanted to get value in Tyrant's like a threatening spot. So we got to like put it really far back. And I am getting pinched here. So I almost get taken out. My mortar, like you can just see, it's so good though. It's so much control. Uh, their mortar's in the back. It's gradually shooting at Bobby, but it's not really doing much. It's so much range though. Like it's hitting our barrels from like behind their barrels. Um... So it's kind of like a stalemate until someone like overextends or something like that. Um, but we do manage to take out, me and second are going to pinch Korai there, but Tyrant's going to be there just to clean up a little bit. And I want to like just keep the pressure on them. So I'm, I don't want us to get zoned back when we they have a Barley. So I just misplaced my Mortar a little bit um, and it gets taken out right away. It's pretty unlucky, um, but I'll go like, I want to take out, I don't know why Bobby came like on top of me here um not really the best positioning but we will like we're getting pinched back so i know i have to go aggro and i'll take out tyrant there and i'll just drop my mortar so i'm careful that i don't get hit by the mortar because a lot of people do um and i want to take out theirs zulan makes a mistake of walking behind it so i'll take him out as well as take out their mortar um and now we can kind of like push up my side me and bobby need to pinch tyrant here he's gonna go for Cora though actually and almost take him out so Nice job, he takes out Korai, and we're looking really good for overtime because we have a better overtime comp and everything. So I want to take out their uh, Mortar, so second doesn't need to go for it there, and um, I do get out of position, but second's out of position too, and Bobby tries going for like a hero shot and just misses. Um, and so it'll just go by like before I can catch it and we'll lose. So we threw that so hard, oh my god. All right guys, so that is gonna be it. Um, unfortunately, we did lose to Omen, but we uh, won our first one 2 one in circles, and then uh, we did lose 2-1 to Omen, but circles did beat Omen 2-0. Um, so circles ended up winning, and we came in second, and Omen came in third, so that's not bad for us. Circles isn't the biggest threat point-wise. I think they're tied for second now uh, with I'm not sure exactly, but I think Omen's at like, I want to say 90 or, or something. I don't know. But we're in first by a pretty good margin, and Omen was our main competition for points. So it's good that they didn't finish ahead of us and just gain any ground. Because they also did uh, lose the qualifiers, and they're not going to be competing in June. So we got like some stuff to figure out, but I mean, we lost out on seven grand. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. And... I don't know. It's just really frustrating games. I thought like the first set I didn't or first match I didn't do the best. Um second match I think I did fine and then in overtime I was kind of popping off, I think, but you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Um and yeah, that's going to be it for the video and the May finals. So they were really good. It was really interesting. Um I think we should have done better, but that's okay. Um yeah, that's it for the video. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.